So I seem to be very bad at doing this whole vlogging every day in April. Uh, I think I'm going to just guarantee that there will be a, as many vlogs as there are days in April. Uh, so I haven't done one since Sunday, which I talked about my, my thesis work. So I'll talk again about some of my other stuff because I didn't get into um, kind of the second part or how how my research and my actual uh, thesis statement, I guess, comes through with my work. Uh, and then for the makeup videos, I'll read more from the Doctor Who novel that I have because it's really fun and uh, and enjoyable. So my thesis work um, for the actual during the actual grad show, uh, which is at the the first weekend of May. Hope to see you there. Uh, I'll have, um, I'll have Watt, my monster, on display, obviously, and, um, and I'm gonna have Ro, his pet, uh, the tentacle monster there as well, and I'll have, uh, kind of set up as very, very home-like, because this, this monster should be very recognizable in a sense. I designed him to be, um, to be an extension of a human, like he's the, the it's a, it's something to be worn by a person, and thus extending the very human features that are very recognizable, whether they're subconsciously or consciously recognizable, you know, very human-like features, and kind of with that, it's it's kind of with the hopes that we can easily put ourselves in his place, um, you know, in in whatever whatever kind of situation he's in because he's actually designed for photographs. So also at the grad show I'm going to have these photographs that I've taken um, of my monster in different environments and situations and scenarios and I photographed him accompanied with text. Uh, text is, using text visually in, in my work has been something I've always been interested in ever since, you know, really going back to, or going back to school, going to art school um, since first year, and kind of I've developed it over the years, and I really enjoy doing it. Uh, I'm not really sure why, I just really enjoy the idea of saying a lot with saying very little, uh, and very, being able to build a narrative with very few words in addition to an image. Uh, I've been, there's a lot of different influences that I've discovered along the way and that have really kind of fueled that love for text with, with in visual work. Um, uh, a Softer World comic strip, uh, if y'all don't know, I'll link it below. Uh, Joey Camo is an author who I really uh, admire as well. He, his short stories are also amazing in the way that he can have a very strong characters and narrative uh, using very few words. It's just, just the way he does it is just amazing. Um, and then there's also Mark Johns who does watercolor images uh, along with words and text that I uh, kind of came across him in the past couple of years. But he's, his work is amazing and I really enjoy it. And a lot of my monster designs started as watercolor drawings accompanied with text. Um, I can link to some of those below if you want to see examples, but kind of you know, my main monster really grew from a water, an original watercolor drawing that I'd done. Um, so, so that's been a huge influence and kind of a growth and development over the years. And so the text I made in the different environments and scenarios kind of were deeper, kind of a deeper exploration as to who this monster is, uh, and a way for people, the audience, to connect with this monster to really show that this guy is just like all of us and we are all kind of more connected uh, and then we really sometimes we like or sometimes we notice or sometimes we always feel uh, so so yeah that's uh, that's part of my thesis work I'm currently going through the really annoying process of, uh, of editing and formatting all the photos that I've taken. Uh, my amazing model and one of my best friends, Sean, uh, he was in the suit and he did a great job of, uh, of movement and posture and just patience. <laughs> and he took direction really well and it was really fun to work with him. And also there I had a great uh, number of friends help me out with the photo shoots, which was amazing. And uh, if you're watching this, you guys are so great. Mentioned in my thesis paper. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. That's what I've been doing the past couple of days, and I haven't really been vlogging because I've just been frustrated with this work. I mean, it's it's simple enough, but it's just it's tedious, right? So so that's annoying. I much rather prefer making all the stuff with my hands and being involved with it and kind of troubleshooting physical problems than just kind of you know adjusting light levels and and all that with all the image and going through all the images because I took a lot and I'm just trying to whittle down the best ones. Um, so I haven't, I'm not posting those yet. Those might not even be posted online until after the grad show. So if you want to see them first, come to the grad show. I can link to that below as well because, you know, shameless self-promotion. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll leave off here because this is already really long. But I'll be doing, um, a couple more, uh, vlogs, uh, today reading from the Doctor Who book to catch up with where I'm at because it's the 10th. And this is only vlogging every day in April number eight. So, yeah. All right. Uh, that's it. That's all.